Hi, I'm Melissa from DOC. I'll show you how to create a profile and issue a certificate that's verifiable and fraud proof within minutes. Soon, you'll be able to automatically send credentials to recipients' wallets. In this example, I'm going to show you how a health and safety organization will issue a certificate and how a certificate recipient will be able to easily import that into the DOC wallet. I'm a health and safety training organization, and I want to issue fraud proof certificates to people who successfully pass my work at height training course. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to issuer profiles and then click on create issuer profile. So I'll put the name of our organization, ABC training, and add our organization's logo then click on Create Issuer Profile. So now I have a profile and this is my unique identification. And this is called a DID, which stands for Decentralized Identifier. So I will now issue credentials. And let's say I do have one student who recently passed. So I'll click on Issue Credential. And for this one, I will choose the basic credential template because this is what's most applicable to my purpose. And then I can preview to see what kind of information will be or what kind of information I can add to it. And so I will go with this. And right now I don't need a template design. So for now, I'm going to continue without the design. Now for this credential, I would like it to, I would like the recipient to be able to access it through by a URL or QR code. So I will put a password on this and there's my issue of profile. I am going to give this health and safety work at height certificate as ABC training. I would like to the credential to be in a PDF version as well. So let's say someone who completes the health and safety course, uh, they do something on a construction site and the employer says that it's not safe for them to be working in this kind of job, then they need to have their work at height training revoked. So in this case, you want to be able to have that option and you would simply turn this on in case a certain type of certificate needs to be invalidated. I would like to be able to revoke and remove the validity of their certificate. Now for this option, use Doc BBS Plus. What this allows is you can enable a certificate recipient to share selective information on their credential. So for example, with work at height training, the details include a name, email, and certificate number. And by doing this and turning this on, you allow them to be able to just share the information that they want instead of showing the whole credential details on um, that's on their wallet to the verifier. So basically this allows more data privacy and security so that people don't have to share more information than they need. And being able to select the specific data is called selective disclosure. Now we'll select add manually. For the subject ID, I'm going to choose any unique identifier for Ash Sito. So every time we have a new student in the workshop, they are assigned a unique number. So Ash Sito's number is 9837. There. Subject name is the recipient name. That's Ash Sito. Subject email is the recipient's email. Ash Sito at gmail.com. The credential title will be work at height training. So this will show up on the certificate. And because this credential expires in three years, I'm going to select expire this credential and put 2026, then add the recipient. Now I can see the subject ID information, the name, email, and title, issuance date today, and the expiration date. Now I'll select issue credentials, and these credentials will show up in JSON and PDF format. So 
A JSON format basically makes it easier for people and machines to read information, and it's also the JSON format that enables people to be able to import that credential into their digital wallet, like the doc wallet. Now I'm going to select download credentials, and I'll put this in the downloads folder. Now in this folder you'll see the JSON format here and the PDF version of this certificate. So now you can see the details that I entered before. Here is Ash's ID number 9837, the recipient name, email, the date that it was issued, and the issuer name which is work at height training. So with this QR code this is what enables the recipient Ash Sito to be able to instantly import this into his doc wallet. So in the next step I'll show you how Ash Sito would use the doc wallet to scan this and then import it. I'm Ash Sito and I want to import this work at height training certificate in my doc wallet which is on the right side of my phone app. So what I'll do is I am going to scan this credential that's on the PDF certificate. And then this will immediately import my work at height training in my wallet right now. So if I click on it, I can see the details of my certificate number, the name, and the email address. And that's how you get started with DocCerts. Reach out to us anytime you have any questions. Thanks for watching.